But yeah. how, like, are we just keep going and this will come through or, you know, should we be intentionally trying to create more community? Should we all just take our masks off and say fuck it and gather together? I mean, what, what do you, what do you see as like this, um, you know, the answer to this lack of community? Or maybe it's just me and everybody I know. <laughs> first, first is to recognize the lack, mm -hmm. um, to recognize the wanting and validate it. Because human beings need it. Mm -hmm. we, we cannot thrive in isolation. Life itself does not thrive in isolation, and we are life. And then also to recognize the difficulty of our circumstances. It's very hard to create community when in many, many ways we don't need each other because we meet so many of our needs through technology and markets. Uh, indigenous community, everybody in that village relies on everybody else for food, clothing, entertainment. You know, you get together and sing. Well, what in a, in a typical modern house, what do you need your neighbors for? And how did that happen? That's what I wrote Sacred Economics about, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a function of the money system, ultimately. But even deeper than that, the stories of the, of the separate self and so forth. Um, so that, so, so yeah, so first, recognize the validity of the yearning. Secondly, um, recognize the difficulty of our situation. And then thirdly, understand what community is. It's not just get togethers. It's that you all care about something more than yourselves. You may have experienced real community on a sports team or on a, you know, in a band, something like the show must go on. So even though I don't like you, I'm going to get along with you. We're going to work it out. We're going to find some way to do it because this is important. If you don't have that, then as soon as some conflict arises, the community just splits apart. You've probably seen that happen many times. Yes. But so so ultimately, to to for to reestablish community, we have to care about something together. And I think that one of the gifts of the COVID time is that it has revealed some things that we actually care about um, and that, that we're willing to sacrifice to work for. Mm. Um, and the same could be said in, in the psychedelic space, like it could be legalization. Um, it could be, um, you know, uh, ecological consciousness, um, or it could be like something much more specific, like um, getting together to create a healing retreat center or something like that. Something that you can can devote to. Um, but yeah, there's no easy, like you can't, it's not easy to, it, it's, I'm not sure if I want to use the word easy. It, it is, it goes against the general, um, the general rhythm of our society to, 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 to start community. Um, like I could go around to my neighbors and meet them and invite them over for dinner and stuff. But unless the power goes out, we don't have community. As soon as the power goes out, which it did for a few days, like we started having community. We started borrowing generators from each other, you know, and do you have water? Our wells aren't working. And, and like, like we started having community. Mm -hmm. And those times could be coming mm -hmm. with breakdowns in supply chains, economic collapse, the power grid, who knows? Mm -hmm. Like we might discover community in that way where we have to take care of each other. A community is, is basically a bunch of people who need each other. They could need each other for survival or they could need each other because they're creating something together. Mm. But that's what a community is. Mm. 